So what is park approval? And does it even matter that this is done before buying a mobile home on leased land in Florida? Many times those who are not familiar with the buying process of a mobile home on leased land don't really realize that getting approved by the park is a part of the purchase process, which then begs the question to be asked, okay, what really is park approval? When buying a mobile home in a mobile home park, every resident needs to be approved as a resident within the community that the home is physically located in. Now, different parks have different requirements, but generally speaking, if you're in an age qualified community, every person who will be physically living in the home will need to be approved by the park. If you're buying a mobile home in an all ages park, usually it will be of all, uh, usually you'll need to have approval for everyone over a certain age to be able to be approved for residency. Each park has their own way of going about the actual approval process, but usually the usually every park will require each person that is going through to be approved to fill out a written application. You can also do that online. Um, you need to provide a photo ID, uh, pay a nominal fee, and agree to have that background or your background checked by the park. Now, if you or your applicant friend does not have a current driver's license, then usually a state-issued photo ID card or a passport will do the trick. The background check that most parks go off of is going to be the criminal background, okay, the applicant's credit score, and if the applicant has any history of evictions on file. I have asked several park managers and park owners how they figure their algorithm, you know, which way do they weigh higher or lower. No one can really make heads or tails of it. What I have been able to come up with, though, is that most parks are not really looking for 800 credit scores or for someone who has never uh, had a speeding ticket in their life. Okay. What I have seen is that they're looking to avoid folks with um, violent felonies or literally no credit scores. That doesn't necessarily rule you out if you have one of those, but um, if you or someone you know uh, has that difficulty in their background, make sure they provide documentation to the park to let them know what they're going to see, just so everybody's in good, in good communication from the beginning. Some parks will put eviction history as a major deciding factor. As with every mobile home that is on leased land, one will require be required to pay a monthly fee called lot rent. Uh, having an applicant on file who has not paid their monthly bill and has been evicted, they may throw a red flag because you will be required to pay that, that lot rent each month. The fees that a park will charge for the application process varies, but it's reasonable to think somewhere between about $25 and $50 for each applicant, okay? So if there's two people, just double that. The importance of getting approved prior to purchasing your mobile home is a good idea because at least at that point, you will know whether you can physically live in the mobile home that you just bought or not. This is Mark Kaiser with The Mobile Home Dealer, and we help mobile home buyers and sellers get to a better place in life.